out here. We're continuing the search out here for uh, for Marcos. Um, gentleman in his in his early 30s. I believe he's 33, 34 years of age. Uh, Guatemalan national that, by all indications, uh, undocumented immigrant that was traveling through this area um, with a group. At some point, he had uh, some some sort of a medical episode. My understanding is that he does have a, a heart condition. Um, and so somebody communicated to the family that he had uh, died on the trip and they left him out here in this area P probably after he died uh, they, they left him on the side of the on the side of the trail um, and so we've got very limited information but we're doing everything that we can we've got drones uh, out here of course we're out on horseback uh, in the area and, and we're following every trail that we possibly can we've rode, ridden up and down these uh, railroad tracks a couple times the railroads been great uh, they helped shut down the train traffic for a while uh, for us to be able to do our work. And we're certainly asking the public that if anybody uh, out in this area has a property that, that is, you know, they, could, they can search it themselves, we'd appreciate the help. Uh, this, it could be anywhere out in this area. Any questions? Ahorita estamos tratando, pero lo que se complica uh, esa situación es que el teléfono es de Guatemala. Entonces, uh, nuestros sistemas no trabajan igual con teléfonos que son de, de otros países, otros sistemas. ¿Algo que quiera enviar a la familia que estamos en contacto con ellos? Simplemente que nosotros estamos haciendo todo lo posible para poder uh, encontrar su hijo, para mandárselo para atrás. Para atrás. Uh, ellos uh, nos dieron un recado por, por video que ellos quisieran... Uh, sepultar su hijo y es lo que está, lo, lo que quisiéramos nosotros también uh, nosotros uh, no, simplemente quisiéramos encontrarlo mandárselo para atrás para ellos bueno aquí en este en, en la ciudad de San Antonio en el condado de Ejar no se ve mucho pero sí se ve uh, des, desgraciadamente es algo que pues pasa y nosotros uh, y, y hay hay veces que ni, ni nos damos cuenta uh, esta vez lo que fue la diferencia o es sea, alguien que iba de viaje con él les dio el recado a la familia les, do, les dio a saber a la familia aproximadamente dónde estaba el cuerpo y por eso estamos concentrados en esta área well the information that we have uh, Zach is that uh, it was about a 20 minute walk from the last known point we know what ranch they were near, according to what the information the family had, and so we're concentrating on, on approximately a 20-minute 20, 20 walk from, from there. Um, it, you know, bear in mind, these, these folks, it could have been 30 minutes, it could have been 10 minutes. So we're just trying to zigzag our way around, uh, getting consent from property owners to search properties, um, concentrating on public areas, and of course looking for signs that, that we might see, uh, buzzards. Uh, blowflies, uh, and we're following any scent that we pick up that might that might seem out of place, that might seem like a like a decomposing body. We're following up on that. Any canines being used? Uh, we're, our plan is to try to try to utilize. We don't have cadaver dogs within the sheriff's office, so we rely on some of the private search and rescue groups. I believe we've been in touch with a few, but I don't know that they've been available to come out and help us yet. Um, like you were saying earlier, is it normal for immigrants to be passing through this area? Well, it, it's certainly normal for them to pass through. Um, what, what's different about it, and, and I would venture to say that in areas like this where it's populated, it may be something that happens from time to time where somebody passes away. We may never know about the vast majority of those. What was different in this one is that somebody that was on the trip with him gave the information to the family via that uh, texting app and let them know. I mean, I think it was certainly, uh, while we wish they hadn't just left him there on the side of the road, left him for dead, uh, it certainly was was decent to let them know approximately where we could find him. So our hope is that we find him. Uh, you know, the family sent a, a video in Spanish. Um, really does tug at your heartstrings. I mean, they're asking us to help find him, and and so they can uh, get him a Christian burial. And and that's our number one goal right now is to find find him and send him back to the family uh, to give them some closure as well. Did the family say why he was traveling with his team? No, they. I don't. I don't think we have that information. I mean, I, I, one can assume that he was traveling there for work. Um, but you know, either either way, I don't know what his end goal was. I don't know where where he was going to end up. But what we do know is now that we believe he's here in Bear County, we're not going to stop until we find him. Did the family say anything if he has a wife or children? I, I don't. I don't have information on on family. Uh, but but uh, certainly the the people that I saw in the video was a brother and, and his two parents. And you know, it's it it it's certainly a, a priority for us. We'd we'd like to find him and be able to send him back home. Do you know how? Uh, 
Uh, for today, you know, the ho- as long as the horses will, will last, uh, they they'll tell us when they're too tired or too overheated, and so we we certainly can't have an animal uh, going getting sick on us, and so we're gonna stay out here as long as they can stand it. Uh, we'll be fine. We're getting stung by mosquitoes, and we've run across a snake or two, and and uh, but but it's all part of the job. Se, se pueden concentrar en estas áreas, pero áreas públicas uh, quisiéramos que no entren a propiedades privadas sin, sin permiso del, del uh, dueño. Uh, hay leyes con, con traspasar uh, alg- alguna propiedad. Entonces, para nosotros, simplemente que tengan cuidado. Uh, si sí hay víboras en esta área, por eso tengo estas botas de, de víbora. Uh, pero quisiéramos, si, si, si nos quisieran ayudar, nosotros aceptamos la ayuda. Uh, el, uno de las pers- personas que iba en el viaje con el muchacho este le dio la información a la familia que él había fallecido en esta área generalmente y que lo dejaron bajo un árbol con su mochila y entonces nosotros es, nos estamos concentrando en tratar de, de, tratar de hallar es, eh, esa, esa área. Uh, this was yesterday that they sent it to one of the meet to Univision and uh, Univision was able to get us a copy of the video and so there we had it uh, in living color the family describing the conditions under which what was described to them so granted it's third hand information by the time we're getting it uh, but it's it's as good as we can get right now did you mention the the mileage how how many miles of the area or acres or yeah well we don't know a, a square mileage but but what we're concentrating on is they told the family that they were at a certain ranch by name well that ranch is just right up the road here um, they mentioned that, that from that ranch, they walked approximately 20, 20 minutes on foot. Um, so we're trying to average out by GPS how, many, how, how long we are. At this point here, this is about a 30 minute walk from that, from that area right there. Uh, but bearing in mind, they may not have had their bearings about them. They may not have been on the road, they may have been on a back trail. Uh, so we're just kind of being general with it, realizing that it could have been 10 minutes or it could have been 30 or even 45 minutes. Uh, they weren't measuring, uh, I'm sure. So we're doing the best we can with the information that we have. So he would have been out here for over a day now? He would have been out here probably about five or six days, actually. Yeah. And so, you know, with, with that time period, there certainly would be some signs that we would look for. Certainly an odor of a decomposing body or birds of, uh, you know, birds of prey that, that may be uh, you know, eating, eating the body, unfortunately. Um, so we're looking for anything and everything that, that might tell us. La información que ellos les dieron a, a los, los padres fue que él falleció, lo dejaron bajo un árbol con su mochila y con su teléfono, teléfono celular. Pero no, uh, uno piensa que ya estaba muerto, pero hay, hay chance que lo dejaron vivo. Uh, Ahora y, el tren pasa muy cerca de aquí, uh-huh. o sea, y a veces se detiene en esta parte. Según lo que dicen las personas, en esta parte es muy común que se pare el tren. Bueno, sí pasa, sí pasa. Uh, uh, yo estaba en, un, en, en una tienda cerca de aquí y un hombre me dio el, el, la queja que el tren muchas veces se para y bloquea su, su uh, camino para su casa. Entonces, sí, de vez en cuando sí se paran y me, me imagino yo que gentes que van viajando uh, encubierto, entonces a veces se bajan del tren o se suben al tren cuando, cuando para. Ok, gracias. We're going back this way.